Hello everyone. Welcome back once again. In this video, we're going to walk through the process of downloading and installing Microsoft SQL Server 2022. So whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, this video will guide, will help you get started with SQL Server 2022. So let's get into it. But before we do, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have it. Introduction to SQL Server 2022. First, let's talk a bit about what SQL Server 2022 is. SQL Server 2022 is the latest version of Microsoft Relational Database Management System. It offers enhanced performance, security, and integration with Azure, making it a powerful tool for managing your data. So now let's get on the move to download and install the, uh, to the installation process. To download SQL Server 2022, let's go to the uh, Microsoft SQL Server website. So on the Google, let's type download MS SQL Server. So once we do so, this is the results that we get. Uh, the first one is SQL Server downloads. Yeah, so basically you got to check the link if it's microsoft.com. Make sure you download it from the Microsoft official website. So here, as you can see here, we've got a bunch of um, servers that we can download. But let's uh, let's go. Let's scroll down. Let's scroll down to this. So here, you download a free specialized edition. So you can download either the developer version or the express version. So the developer version is full featured free edition, licensed for use as development and test database in a non-production environment. And obviously the SQL Server Express, 2022 Express is a free edition of SQL Server, ideal for development and production for desktop, web and small server applications, okay? So for this video sake here, yeah, we're going to download and install the developer version. So we click on the download. So this will actually download the installer. So let's click on this. So we've got the installer started. So here, obviously, you can select a, a bunch of installation sites. Uh, you can select the, the basic to, to download and install the basic. So this select basic installation type to install the serv um, SQL Server database engine and the custom one. So let's select the custom one, okay? And then, as you can see, uh, <clears throat> this is the minimum space required, and uh, this is the download size. So you got to make sure that you've got all of it. And let's click on the install. So as you can see, uh, it might take a while. So I'm going to I'm going to pause the video while the whole thing completes. Okay. So as you can see here now, we've got the download completed, and right now, uh, the download. Uh, I mean the Extracting setup is is um, started. So let's let's wait a few minutes. So right now, as you can see here now, we've got this open for us. So let's go ahead and click on the hardware requirements. So this is it will take you to this website. I mean to this place here. So you can have a look at the hardware requirements. Okay. So you get everything before the installation. So now let's go ahead and click on the installations. So here we've got a bunch of stuff that we can install. So let's look at the first bit here. So this is a new SQL Server standalone installation or add features to an existing installation. So let's go ahead and click on this. So basically, this is what we get. So as you can see here, we've got this selected. So you, you can get, you have a bunch of other options that you can use. So let's go ahead and select the developer. So as you can see, we've got the Express and the evaluation mode. Yeah, so let's leave it at the developer mode and click on the next. 
So here, let's accept the license and terms and click on next. Here, uh, use Microsoft up Update to check for updates. So this is recommended by, obviously, you can check on this if you want. So let's go ahead and click on the next. So as you can see here now, we've got um, we've got some tests here, and as you can see, uh, there's a there's a firewall warning on my side here, but we're going to ignore this for now. Yeah, so let's go ahead and click on the next. So here you can uh, as you can use the Azure extension for SQL Server, yeah. But we're just going to ignore it and leave it as, as it is and click on the next. So there's a validation error. Click OK. So basically, we didn't put anything here. So I'm just going to check it again. So let's go ahead and uncheck this box for now. Okay. And click on the next. So here, this, these are the features that you can install. So you can select wh whatever feature that you want to um, install. So you can select the database engine. So this will install all the necessary stuff that comes with it here. So it's got machine learning services and lang language, full text and semantic extraction and whatnot, okay? So for now, and for this video, let's leave it as it is here and click on next. So here, that is the instance configuration. So here you can specify the name and instance ID for the instance of your SQL Server, okay? So basically, you can use a default instance or a named instance. So we're gonna select this. And we're gonna select the default instance, which is MS SQL Server. So this will be the, the name MS SQL Server, okay? So let's go ahead and click on the next. So this will take us to the server configuration, okay? So basically, we're just going to leave it as it is, but you can select the startup type and whatnot, yeah? So we're going to leave it as a default, okay? And click on the next. So here, this is database engine configuration. So here, it's actually using a Windows authentication mode. So you can select, a missed mode as well. So let's look at it. Let's select a missed mode and specify our password. So you can use any password that you want. So I'm just going to put my password here. Okay. Then you can specify the SQL Server administrator. So we can add current user or add and click on the add so you can select something from here okay and let's see current user but obviously so as you can see so this is the administrator for the for the device on my computer okay so let's click on the next So let's click on the install. So this might take a while. So I'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing installs, OK? OK, so as you can see, we've got the installation completed successfully with all the product um, updates, OK? So as you can see, this is what we've got installed, yeah? So I will leave this video here for now, okay? And then I'll make the next one in terms of moving on to the Visual Studio and, and then connecting to, a, to, the, uh, to the server and creating a database and whatnot, yeah?
So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up here and I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening and wherever you are. Peace.